Yo, what's good, everybody? It's J.R. Skywalker Investing. Uh, I'm getting ready to start placing my bets in some of these playing games, and I wanted to break down one of them for you guys that I thought was a steal. So right now, I'm looking at the Clippers versus the Wolves, uh, and they have the Clippers actually, at least on DraftKings, you want to line shop, you want to check out the sports books. But <clears throat> the spread right now is plus 3.5, right? But <clears throat> it's a couple of interesting things I want to point out. So that's the first thing I'm going to show here. Now, while it's true that, um, you know, like they was dealing with like a lot of injuries, these first three games here, um, Paul George played, right? Um, you know, you see the Clippers won here, 126, 115. Um, 104, 84, 129, 102. And they lost this recent game here, uh, 104, 122. So they're actually 3-0 and with Paul George, right? Um, and something else I want to point out is if you look at their recent schedule, they have some quality wins to close the season. Um, they have some wins I really like. Like, okay, you have... Um, get a close one here against the Bulls. <clears throat> Bulls are a playoff team, pretty good team here. Uh, Jazz is a playoff team, close one here against the Jazz. But they beat the Bucks here, 153-119. I'm not sure who all played, but um, the Bucks are a quality team. You know the Pelicans are a quality team and they're playing as well. Uh, they won this game. Um, I've seen Phoenix bench beat people this season. They won this game recently as well. And they won these last two games, which they should have, which tells me that and we know just from the fact that Paul George and Kawhi Leonard hasn't played, they've kept up and their record right now is 42 and 40, right? So on the front down a five game win streak. So we, we know like it's not a bunch of scrubs. You still got Robert Coverton, you still got Reggie Jackson. Um, you know, you got people uh, you got some people who, who held their own, basically. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> Amir Coffey has had a pretty good season. You know what I mean? They still got Luke Kennard, who, who's had a pretty good season. Terrence Mann's a, a really good bench player. <laughs> Marcus Morris has had a really good season as well. So, I mean, uh, to say that right now they're the underdog at plus 3.5, I think that's a pretty good – a pretty good, uh, pretty good odds and a pretty good value. Let me say that. Um, once again, if you go back and switch back here, and we look at we look at these games, these win margins is pretty substantial. You know what I mean? There's definitely something to look at here. You know what I mean? Um, to say that they're, you know, the wolves need to cover it. 3.5 and the Wolves haven't been all that great, right? Let's go take a look at the Wolves right quick. Uh, let's see here. <sighs> okay, here we go. Yeah, so if you come here, all right. Um, they lost against the Bulls here, right? They beat the Spurs, just practically don't have anybody. Uh, they, they won against the Wizards, practically don't have anybody. They barely beat the Rockets. I mean, come on, man. Like, worst, worst team in the league right now. Um, they beat the Nuggets. That was a quality win. Lost against the Raptors playoff team. Lost against the Celtics playoff team. Won against the Mavericks. I'm not sure quite what happened here. Um, Lost against the Suns playoff team. Lost against the Mavericks right here. So they played close. That's interesting here. So, I mean, uh, there's some things about the Wolves. Unless Carl Anthony Towns has one of those games, which he's capable of doing. And, you know, Ant Anthony Edwards, he can blow up at any moment, too. Like, uh, I think the value is in taking the Clippers. <clears throat> um, but I just want to share that with y'all. Have y'all looked that over? Um, I send this information and more information in my Slack group. If y'all want to come join the group, come join the group. 
Um, we chop it up about sports, <clears throat> mostly football and basketball. We're trying to expand to other sports as well. We're trying to build this community, betting community as betting continues to become legalized in other states. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, check out the website, shoot me an email. Um, and that's it. Thank you.